Hi everybody. I am here at school in the art studio and it's so quiet without you here. I like it better when you're here. But I can read you a story. This is a fun story that I found in our bookshelf that says, can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex dad? Can I please? It's about a little boy who really wants to have a dinosaur as a pet. He really, really wants it. And he's giving his dads all sorts of really good ideas as to why it's important that he have one. This is a funny make-believe story. I hope it makes you laugh. All right. Adam, I tried to find your book in our, in our library. I couldn't find it. Kind of mad I couldn't find it. I wanted to read that to you today. Can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad? Can I, please? If I had a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad. When we went to the mall during Mall Madness Week, my Tyrannosaurus Rex could go with us. And when we got there, he'd search for a parking space. And when he found it, he'd point it out and you'd get it quick. And no other driver would try and beat you to it like they do now. Not with my Tyrannosaurus Rex glaring down at them. Can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad? Please, can I? If I had a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad, Grandma wouldn't have to call the fire department every time Tabitha got chased up the apple tree by that mean dog, Wolfgang, because my Tyrannosaurus Rex could just reach up and pluck Tabitha out safely and hand her down to Grandma. And then maybe teach that Wolfgang a lesson, one he'd never forget. That wolf king looks very scared, doesn't he? Can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad? Can I please? If I had a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad, I'd invite him to my birthday party. And then you wouldn't have to take us to the movies or bowling. We get the dad's face. Because we could climb up on the Tyrannosaurus Rex and he'd gallop with us fast around and around the backyard and the ground would roll and rumble and we'd be all screaming and screeching and having a wonderful time. And my birthday party would be the best party ever. Can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad? Can I please? If I had a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad, he'd be great for show and tell. Much better than Clarissa's ant farm that she'd bring in every year or Adam's collection of shark teeth his grandfather just gave him. Look at the teacher. She's making a face too. And if my teacher said my Tyrannosaurus Rex had to leave right after show and tell. He could spend the rest of the day in the principal's office. Mr. Grumble wouldn't mind. Can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad? Can I please? If I had a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad, when Roy asked me to spend the night with him in his tent in his backyard, I'd take my T-Rex with me and then I wouldn't have to worry about all those wolves and bears and coyotes circling around out there in the dark trying to get us in and eat me up because my Tyrannosaurus Rex would be out there in the dark protecting me. Can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad? Can I please... If I had a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad, we, when we go to the beach this summer, my T-Rex could go with us. And 
we wouldn't have to take along our big beach umbrella like we do now to keep the hot sun off of us because my T-Rex would keep us safe and we could stretch out in the sand and nobody would even think of running past us and kicking sand on us, not even accidentally. Can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad? Can I please? If I had a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad, he could be one of the forwards on our soccer team. And after we got him a uniform, extra large, of course, he'd look great and score lots of goals and we'd win every game. So, so can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dad? Can I, can I please? No? Okay, then if I can't have a T-Rex, Dad, maybe, uh, can I have a bird instead? Can I please? Like maybe a parrot or an ostrich? Because last week I bought this really neat looking egg at a garage sale and I've been keeping it warm in my room ever since. There's the egg. But look what happens. And. Hey, wait a second, Dad. Do you hear some loud flapping? <gasps> wow, awesome. Can I have a pterodactyl, Dad? Can I please? If I had a pterodactyl, Dad. <gasps> Do you see the shadow on the page? Do you think that egg was a pterodactyl egg? Did he get a dinosaur? That would be silly. The end. That was a fun book of pretend. We were pretending to be pteranodons flying just like the pterodactyl in this book. All right, my little dinosaurs. We'll see you this week during Dinosaur Week. I love you.